Occupy protesters returned to the state capitol today to let their voices be heard during the special session. Although there were arrests, the day was not nearly as chaotic as last night when four people were arrested and more than 30 others were issued citations. James Lynch joins us live with the very latest. James? Maria, what a difference 24 hours makes here at the Capitol. It is quiet and peaceful, much different from last night when a near riot broke out after protesters were asked to leave the Capitol Rotunda at closing time. Tonight, when that call to exit the building came, protesters simply walked out of the building and went home. This Occupy movement is a tale of two types of protesters with two different agendas. We are the 99%. They come from different communities and they have different issues. What brings them together is a shared vision and common desire to have their voices heard. I came here to help support my children's education. Heather McKenna can no longer pay her mortgage. She brought her four-year-old son to the Capitol today for a life lesson. That's what we are fighting for is to be a community and help each other and to have equality amongst everybody. For most, this Occupy movement is about family and the generation's old hope for a better future. But there are those who are not part of the movement, but they're here anyway, looking for trouble. Shelly, why are you making sure we don't go in? The problem is, for those of us in the media and those in law enforcement, it can be hard at times to tell the good from the bad. Take Anthony Ferris early in the day. When people are just trying to go in and speak their voice, yet it states on the Constitution that the people's voice should be heard. And a much different Anthony Ferris with his buddies late in the afternoon taunting troopers. Remember who you work for. This is your boss right here. This is your boss. Public servant. I'm technically your boss. For 20 minutes, he tried to provoke the troopers, so he was arrested for disorderly conduct. All right, I've given you two warnings to keep an arm length away. You're under arrest for well, disorderly well, well, conduct. Well, 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 About a half dozen protesters were arrested in all today for disorderly conduct or because they were cited or arrested Monday night and banned from the Capitol campus for 30 days but came back anyway. It's a, it's a historical tradition of nonviolence going back to before Martin Luther King. But in situations like this, the line between violence and nonviolence can be blurred. And even some protesters say disrespect for the rule of law should not be tolerated. I believe people need to be accountable for themselves, absolutely. And, and I hope that we get to that point, all of us together someday. Because the future of our democracy is watching our every move. Now, protesters say that they will be back here at the Capitol tomorrow and the next day and next week and the week after that. Every day of the special session, they say, to get their message across, no more cuts to services that affect the 99%. Live tonight at the state Capitol in Olympia, James Lynch, Q13, Fox News.